I have the names Robert and this is the fluid that I use. It's called Liquitex Professional Matte Medium. Now this one's the 237ml. There we go. So that's uh, the fluid that I use. And I apply it just with a normal cotton bud and I'll, I'll show you that. I'll do a few breakdown videos. I've got to make uh, an invisible black card cane and I'll show you how I do it from start to finish but a breakdown so you don't have to watch it, it all completely. Thank you. Thank you. Well, once you've got them out of the box, um, what I want to do, I want to take the kings out. Take the kings out. And then get half of the deck in the middle, keep all of this half, and then just place the clubs on the bottom of the arts and then turn that completely round and then you're ready to start the next part then. So well, the way I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna just keep turning my hand over like that, but I'm gonna keep grabbing two cards at a time. So you want to keep it, so I'm going to do it so it's always, let's have a think here, uh, even up. So, so I'm, I'm trying to do it a bit slower for you. So every single time I'm taking one top, one bottom, and I'm going to keep it so it's even on this time. So every time I take two putters, I just twist my hand over like that. Kings is more of a preference as long as you remember it. So the way I normally do it here, and then you pick them up, this type of setup. I normally have uh, the joker of this on the bottom, just so when you switch it over, it looks very similar type of. Where well, it's easier to switch. So then you want to have. A spur to the hearts again, then vice versa again. So, you want the reds facing up, blacks facing down. You can just shove them anywhere in the deck, I suppose. It doesn't really matter. Put them there. People have different methods. So, there we go. There's the invisible deck ready to be put to the next level uh, for the roughing. Okay. So, I'll begin. Uh, you have opened thousands of decks and it's always a way. Right, there we go. Now, what I use, I use a, a pen lid. So it just stops it damaging as easy. Uh, so what I do, I normally put it in the corner here. And if you give it like a little jiggle, like you're picking a lock a little bit, you'll see it'll just click out. You don't get the curl up and the like, blur as much. And you can, generally works quite well. So then, you can take them out, make sure you've got them all, you can take the jokers out, and the advertisers and the gaffs. Now we want to take them yeah, the, the pasting table I got off eBay, I think it was like 15 quid, and uh, I, may, I mainly, well, I only use it for adapting cards and playing cards and Playing card related stuff, so it's never used for pasting. It's just a work table that I can store easily. Uh, so the next part now is arranging them to be glued. So we all want to glue the backs, we don't want to glue the faces, so I'm going to place them down like that and I'm going to keep placing them down. I know you, you get used to like a rhythm after you've done a few. I know you, you might make a few mistakes, but as long as you know what to look for. So I'm going to start quickly. So. Sure, it's recording, yeah. So, two, four, six, eight, and we'll go to ten. So, ten. I'll do a twelve on this one. Uh, 
we go. Uh, ready for the next setup now. Uh, so now I'm going to open this um, the Liquitex matte medium. Uh, so, so we'll see. And it looks a bit like a PVA glue, but it's not a glue. Um, and it dries a bit like a clear chalk. Um, and it's very good and it works fantastic. Uh, I found it through various, I tried all sorts of stuff, I'm not even going to get into it. Uh, but this is the best stuff I've found. I've not really preferred roughing sticks, to be honest with you. I've tried them to make prototypes and stuff to get. And it, and it doesn't really seem that. It doesn't really seem quicker to make a roughing, use a roughing stick. Um, it just, uh, this is a better way, I think. 